this video we will see how to run html code in any operating system different type of the operating system only editors are different otherwise all clauses are same so we can see today in this video in windows operating systems windows operating system is any version either the xp windows 10 8 7 whatever okay so what we can do for that purpose open the editor so most popular editor is the notepad so you open the notepad in this editor you write html part html5 so html5 i in i discuss in the last video doc type html then html then head meta cat set utp utf hyphen 8 then you can write the here title and in this title title is displaying top of the again the address bar only so title we can write here anything my first page this title is again the uh, use for the indexing of the page and as well as this is again utilizing for the um, as seo search engine optimizations only so close the title opening the title uh, opening the any tag and closing is important so this is very simple html page so i am not writing here again uh, any kind of the css file other by javascript just simple page how to run that one so now you can close the head part and whatever you information you want to display that should be after the body part only so after the body you can write whatever the information you want to do so i'm writing here welcome to cac and this is my first page you can write my first page okay so that much information i want to display then you can close body after that you can close here html yeah this is the basic information which required which required for your first page then you can save this file where you want to save i will save this file in the desktop you can give the file name anything so i'm giving here first f first page dot this is very very important what is the extension of the html file you can give the stm otherwise html so html is the standard format but whenever you're writing the along with the extension the file name in the notepad always try to put along with the double quote so what the advantage notepad the one problem is there sometime whatever the extension if you are giving along with that one they will uh, notepad they will save that file in the dot txt so if you want to protect such kind of the again the issue then if you you can write always the file name inside the double code in the notepad not for any other editors so that problem again the there is very less chance that, that problem will occur okay after that you can save this file now you see the desktop file is available here right mouse click and you can just see welcome to the cc this is my first page output is coming and you can see here the title is coming here my first page okay and if you want to edit anything so again open the notepad only just i am writing here again the very simple one tag h1 all of this thing i'll discuss in my next video center then again you can close after the statement that h1 and control s for the save this file otherwise you can go here file and save whatever you want not don't go for the save as again okay open browser just refresh the browser you see font is again the uh, all of the text is aligned in central center only and then again the text is again the little bit bigger from the normal again the font so this way you can write any again html file in the notepad save that file along with the extensions and where you already save the file go to that folder right mouse click open in the any browser whatever the browser you have if you if you want to use the editor that is again good things because the most of the again the professional developer they will use the editors so so many editors are available notepad plus plus that is again one of the editor pro and the dreamweaver is again one editors so depends based upon you you which editor you have you can use editor is not a big issue for the anyone so editor is just one kind of the giving the help to the developer to writing the code 
okay and the starting level notepad plus plus is enough but whenever you will grow again the you are becoming the more and more mature in the programming then you can use the again the little bit again either the eclipse you can use that when you can use other by dreamweaver you can use i like the dreamweaver so in my dreamweaver you can see just open the new different versions are also available in the market so html5 create you can see basic template is automatic coming here only so here again you can change whatever you want title again same way and then again after the body part you can write whatever you want to write and after that same process you can save this file where you want to save so this is the same but what is the advantage of the editor here again we will get suggestions so after body what are the attributes are there you can see after the body i give the space bar and we will get the all of the suggestions so that is the advantage of the any editors and that again depends some editor different suggestion will come some editor only that based upon that particular language only that suggestion will come so anybody is asking what is the difference between the dreamweaver and the notepad plus plus so that is the difference their suggestions are less here we'll get again the more suggestions towards the web programming okay so editor is again not a matter you decide what editor you want so in that editor you can write the program save that program and same way you can just open that output in the any browser not in the any other again the uh, what is called compiler don't search web application only you can see the output in the any browser mozilla chrome opera whatever internet explorer anything that is not a issue okay so in this video i think everybody you got the idea how to write the html file where we can save that file and how you can see the output okay so in our my next video we'll see again the more and more again the tag regarding the html clear so thanks